I've told that person with that I message, knock it off. I'm not going to sit here and continue to be victimized by you in this manner. When you refuse to entertain any of my ideas for resolution, I feel the situation is hopeless because agreement seems so far out of reach. Again, I'm telling them I'm about to walk. If you continue to do what you're doing, dude, ma'am, I'm about to walk. Um, we get this often. Mission creep. You got the contract. The contract says you're going to deliver one, two, three, four, five. And repeatedly, they're coming back to you saying, can we have a little more of this? Can we not pay that much for that? Can you help us with this project that's not included in the language of the pro of the project or the, the contract? I'm sorry. When you continue to ask me for work outside the scope of the contract, I feel concerned because I'm not sure how we're going to continue this business relationship in a healthy way. This is a great uh, in 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 street talk boxing terms. This is a great way to check somebody's chin without being offensive. You guys, anything uh, for the I, I message, Sandy? You're writing something down. Uh, I'm, I'm always writing when you're talking because you say brilliant things. So, you know, there's that. Um, I, I just want to caution people because your level of anxiety or anger does not predicate when that I message gets used. It's the counterproductive behavior of the other side. Remember tactical empathy is all about them. It's not about you. So it's not about your level of frustration when you throw that I message out. It's about their unproductive, counterproductive, persistent, bad behavior. So don't feel like because you're frustrated, you're going to come out with that I message is going to make it different because if they're not at the point where you need to check them like that, you're just going to make the situation worse. Agreed. Marcella? There are always other skills that you can use before an iMessage because the negative behavior is screaming something else. So try labels and mirrors and summaries first. And if the behavior continues, then you can throw an iMessage in. Be aware of your tone because it's likely that you're going to be feeling negatively when you give that iMessage and you don't want that to come out in the iMessage. You're in control when you give the iMessage. It's very assertive, so be careful of your tone. Well, Marcella, that's the tone. That was uh, that was my ad. Um, extremely careful here. Um, it, it's easy for us to to immediately react to what the person is saying. So I would say slow it down, calm yourself, and watch them. And before you respond to to an attack immediately, it's always always good to pause for a few seconds. We, when we tend to react immediately, we tend to make mistakes. By pausing for a few seconds, and then as Marcella said, going into the right tone, and to Derek's point, begin to use that I message when it's needed, you will find that the outcome will be better. Yeah, yeah. I noticed the words that George used. When you react, too quickly. I want to get you out of the reaction business altogether because reaction is almost always emotional, almost always. And if you take a breath, take a beat, as George suggested, now you're in a better frame of mind to not react, but respond. And, and response is always cerebral. Now, uh, Mia has thrown two questions into the chat that I that I want to address before they go by. Um, and the first one I'm paraphrasing here because she doesn't want to come up on stage. I appreciate that. Uh, I, I'm paraphrasing here, but how do you prepare for the attack? First of all, you know, go back to what I said at the top of the hour. Accept the fact that it's going to happen. I don't care how pleasant the conversations have been previously. If you're going into a conversation with anyone where you want, need something from them, they want, need something from you, 
they're already in a defensive posture when you walk into the room. They're already expecting the conversation to end with them having less, if it's nothing more than time, than them having less of something that they have right now. So they're already defensive. Their, their guards are already up when you walk into the room. And so depending on the stakes, depending on the pressure, I always assume that it's going to happen. And Mia, it's never, you're never going to be completely ready for it. It's going to come out of left field. It's probably not going to make any sense to you. And it's probably going to sting a little bit. Tell yourself that before you go into the conversation. That at some point it's going to happen. How am I going to respond? The second thing is, as you're preparing for this conversation, is understand that and what I'm talking about here that we've talked about ad nauseum to this point is caviar. The, the C in caviar stands for curiosity. You have to go into these conversations assuming that you have something to learn, assuming that you don't have the complete picture because the reality is you do not. And curiosity and acceptance work hand in hand. If I keep a curious mindset, when the attack comes, I know how I'm going to respond. I'm going to respond by trying to dig into it and figure out where it's coming from. Now, the second question she asked is, OK, we realize they're manipulating us. Now what? Now you have a decision to make. Have you tried to back them off of the manipulation with an iMessage? Yeah, I've tried that and they continue to do what they're doing. All right. You got a decision to make. You haven't reached an agreement with this person and they're already uh, exhibiting manipulative tendencies. You want to push forward in that conversation? If they're manipulating you before an agreement has been made, what are you signing yourself up for? If you get that contract signed with that person or that organization how much what kind of heartache have you enlisted for the next three five ten years if they're manipulating you now before a formal agreement has been made or formal formal relationship has been established what are they going to do when they got you on the hook